everyone, I'm Nikki. I'm Nick. And together we're Nikki Nick. I had something in my throat. Today we're going to be re uh, reacting to, or I was about to say reading. Reacting which I'm trying to. to. Um, Bandware by Cook oh, Studio Season 10, <laughs> Season Finale. Well, I don't want to pronounce the names wrong, but Shuha Hadir and Ama. Was it an Ama Beg? We're so sorry. I'm we really struggle. sorry. I'm trying because one of you guys commented and said that you guys like when we read the whole title, even if we screw up. So we're gonna embarrass ourselves. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try reading the full titles from now on. Um, I just don't want to like, you know, make anyone feel like upset at us or anything mm -hmm. like that because we can't pronounce some of these titles. But we're gonna try. So. Anyway, you guys requested this one a whole lot. Sorry, we haven't done Coke Studio in a while, but we're going to continue. We haven't done a lot of videos in a while. So. I know. We're going to continue to do Coke Studio, so don't worry. Balancing work and everything. So. Work and school and everything that comes with it. So we are trying to get out as many as we can as fast as possible. Um, so I'm excited because we haven't like we haven't done one of these in a while. So mm -hmm. I always find that these have such like a deep, meaningful... They all do. Like, there hasn't been one that has lyric. Yeah, yeah, all the lyrics are just so... like powerful to me, so I'm excited to jump in. You ready? Heartfelt. Yep. Let's go. Here we go. <clears throat> I always get tripped out because I'm like, I don't hear anything, but it's because... It... Oh, and it's like... Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be like... Oh, we got a female too. Yeah, it looks like a duet. I always like that. Yeah, me too. It's like um, <clears throat> like love song, but with both sides. Yeah. Is what I'm assuming. Beautiful piano start. I like that key. Mm -hmm. They always have like such like powerful energy. Like they're always so happy on the stage. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to hear her part. Yeah. Because I feel like it's going to be like a reply. They like reflect each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm hoping. Oh, that's what it means. And we're a crazy love. There she is. So there, is Cook Studio has random artists come together, or? Hmm, that's a question for our audience. Because these are all different singers. Mm hmm I wonder if the people on the instruments are in a band or group together, or? Or like Nescafe, where they're all... Like, picked. Yeah. Because I always find that impressive. I 
I love that chandelier. The light. I always feel like there's a twist with all these songs. Like it's sometimes it's a little sad. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> It's like all really happy and positive and then it takes like a turn and then yeah. and then I feel like most of the time it does come back. Though. Yeah. I'm gonna comment more on the end. I'm trying to like read it and yeah, like, yeah. It's <clears> like take everything in at once. It's look hard at to it like, and continue read it. commenting. Mm -hmm. She's got such a beautiful voice. They both bounce each other off very yeah. well. <clears throat> mm. I feel like I always say this, but I really do like the camera work too. It's crazy. Was it? I feel like they oh take in. <laughs> I believe it's Coke Studio when someone said that this is all in one take. They don't edit or anything. It's just like shot. That's crazy. Which to me, it blows my mind. Don't mess up. Just, like, <laughs> I know, know. right? <clears throat> Ooh, I love that outro. <laughs> that was pretty. Just making sure there's nothing like it's hidden. Gonna, yeah, at the end. And the cooks. Okay, so you know that I'm gonna talk after this because mm -hmm. I love talking about these videos. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. I yanked that really hard. No, um, okay. So what I think. The thing that I like the most about Coke Studio is with their songs, um, <clears throat> and I'm not, like I know that you guys said in one of them, like the lyrics were taken, not taken from something else, but like someone else wrote the lyrics and they sang it, but what I like about all of these songs that we listen to is that like the title of the song really reflects the storyline that's happening in the, in the actual song. So mm -hmm. they're talking about a crazy love 
and I think they gave a really good side of how crazy love can be from both sides, like both of male and female perspective. And I like the fact that for both of the perspectives, it put them in a different location, obviously. And then he was talking about the fact that, you know, he loved her so much, um, how is he supposed to find someone like her? But that, but that she basically told him to go away because, I, I don't know if she was like, she said she wasn't unfaithful, but he took like took it as she was unfaithful to him. Like, mm -hmm. what is what is he supposed to do now? And then I like the fact that it like gives her perspective, and it's like um, she's so lonely without him, and you know, thinking about him now is just like it brings the darkness. <clears throat> and then she also made the point that I feel like in a lot of love stories, especially with younger, with young love. She made the the point that she was too young and wasn't ready. Wasn't ready. But yeah, that, which I feel like with couples like our age, there's a lot of people who just kind of like rush into relationships and try to make things work and and it just spirals a little bit too out of control. <laughs> um, people trying to make love work a little too hard, and I feel like that's when. I we sure like, know a lot of people like that. Yeah, I feel like love comes naturally. It shouldn't be so. I mean, it's something that obviously you have to work at, but it shouldn't be something that is forced. Like, if you love someone, then it shouldn't it be shouldn't like... shouldn't feel like a chore. Exactly. So, I feel like I really liked, you know, both sides of it. You know, the, the male and female perspective. And I also like the metaphors in it, where they were mm -hmm. explaining, like, the flower blossoms, and how, like, it was... They were using the... I thought the flower, flower boss, blossoms were, like, a metaphor for, like, new things in life starting as well as like new realizations for the love that they used to have mm -hmm. um, especially for her because it seemed like she was like very um, like in a dark place because that because the love was lost and I feel like you know he's trying to figure out you know what is he gonna do so both of them like calling for each other was really cool so I don't know that whole thing I feel like it really represented like our generation I say Mostly. our generation, but the younger generation, because, I mean, love can be super crazy, and I feel like it's a matter of, you know, if you love someone, trying to make it work and, and sticking it through, and, <clears throat> you know, not everything's going to be like peaches and, peaches and cream, it's all, it's, sometimes it's going to be, sometimes it's going to be difficult, and love isn't always like you are happy with the person 100% of the time, sometimes you guys fight and argue, but... You know, at the end of the day, it's just like, can you picture yourself without this person? And I think if the answer is yes, then you're not with the right person. You know? Can you picture it? No, I love Poopa. 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 So. Poopa. Anyway, I, I don't know if I explained that as well. I was hoping to explain, but I always love listening to these songs because I feel like they've got such an like a deep underlining meaning and even even though that one is a little bit more like light-hearted than I feel like um, some of the ones that we've listened to that got really deep into mm -hmm. deep into the song I feel like that one was more like you know that one was more light and about love and but I yeah. feel like even even that had a deep deeper meaning and it and it was just so powerful and I like the fact that they're also like bouncing off each other like you can no you they notice the, that the greatest um, <clears throat> their energy is duets. Just, yeah they, I think so too have each other flow evenly. Yeah, I feel like, sense. I don't know if they know each other personally, but I feel like there is chemistry, not like the physical way, but just like the way that they can read musically each other well. they've got really good chemistry. Mm. So that's really cool. I think that's really important when you're doing a duet because it's, I feel like it's really stale when you have two people who don't share the same, like even just passion for music. So, yeah. or the song that they're singing. It makes it difficult to actually sing the duet. Yeah. But anyway, if you guys have, I'm sorry, I was spieled on no, for a few minutes. No, <laughs> you do a lot better than I would. <laughs> um, but if you guys have any more Coke Studio videos that you guys want us to watch, and I know you do, please leave them in the comments below. And if you guys want to see more of us, make sure to check out the description box below. It's going to Snapchat and Instagram. Make sure to subscribe. I'm really glad that was up right. And as always, thank you for support. Thank you for love. We love, love you guys. guys. Have a good day. Good night. Good, good evening. evening. Bye. And now I gotta. <laughs> <So fun. laughs>